happened and like who the homeboys were. And some of the Border Brothers had done time, Chico and some other fools that I don't want to keep mentioning people's names because I don't know if they're active or not. But Chico was one of them. He had done time with my homeboy. So Chico calls my homeboy, goes, hey, homeboy, check it out. And he, Chico was half and half, Salvi and, and Mexicans. So Chico goes, hey, check it out, loco. This and this transpire. Que pedo, you guys got pedo with us. Or was it a misunderstanding? So the homeboy tells her, look, we didn't know you had one of your soldados there. He jumped for SSL. We, they tried to, you know, downgrade us, downplay us, and we did what we were supposed to do. So Chico understood where we were coming from. And he also understood that his little homie jumped because that's his cousin. So, which is it's understandable. Well, SSL was already saying, fuck these fools. They was already saying, fuck these fools. We ha back then, we had MySpace. So I had a couple homeboys. Some homeboys had a couple homeboys. And some hungers of them, and we have already seen fuck the hood, fuck MS, all that little shit, and again, net dreaming, the internet banging type of shit, right? So we already knew where they were staying at. They basically were saying, F, F you guys. Well, Blackie was an older homie from SSL, and Blackie reached out to one of my uncles that he knew from years, and he put me in contact with him. Blackie goes, say, hey, check it out, fool. Like, I get it, my homeboys, this is what happened, but you guys were in our place, I understand that. So I told him, yeah, but he could have come out of us a different way. He's like, he's understanding what I'm saying, I'm not understanding what he's saying, but it's not my decision to make. I, I can just call it, let's go to peace. No, so I put my homeboy on the phone who has the keys, and he's like, check it out, G. It wasn't done. We went to the part where we're kicking and this fool came out of pocket. We did what we were supposed to do. Well, he was trying to find a solution to the problem, Blackie, but it wasn't coming up. So, two days later, after that phone call gets placed, the homeboys get jumped at a mall. There was a couple homeboys that had went to buy some shoes in the mall. They get jumped by like 10 homies from SSL. They get done dirty. It was like three of them against 10. So they bang on them, the homies bang back, and they will start going at it. They got jumped. One of the homeboys fucking, they broke his arm. The other homeboy had a messed up eye. Like, they had kind of cracked his eye socket. And the other fool had got hit with a bell on top of his head, so he needed a couple of stitches. So they, 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 now blood's been spilled on both sides. Now, we had a saying back then, you touch one of us, you touch all of us. So... And when I say we, is because I'm talking about how when I used to be a representative of this organization, of this barrio. So, here it goes. Now, you guys touch the homeboys. Now, we're going to reply. We know where we stand. We know you guys chose war. War it is. We didn't know that BB had also aligned itself with them and said, F these fools, we're going to smash on them too. This is how we find out. We have homeboys in Alameda County, right? And Santa Rita, when the homeboys came out today on that day, they got rushed by Border Brothers and SSL. So they got rushed, the homeboys got off, and then now we're like, they call us back and they're like, oh, the homies are not. So one of the homie sister goes, like, hey, if I couldn't see the homie because this fool's on a lockdown due to a melee. He sends a letter basically saying, hey, fool, I don't know what happened in the street, but this fool's rushed us. And all the homies here said, fuck it, it's war. So now that's done. The homeboys won a war, which is something. Me, myself, I'll tell you this. I did. I want to kind of avoid it, not because I'm scared, but I kind of want to avoid it because we have built friendships with a lot of them. And to kind of mess them up or something was kind of stupid. But at the same time, I used to be a Marero. At that time, I was representative of Tony Street Marero. And Mr. 13 game member, so I'm gonna rock with my neighborhood no matter what. Well, after that riot, two days later, we are the party over there in Oakland. We're still sliding back and forth. We gotta keep in mind, homies leave there, and then these homies have kind of like took over fucking Hotel Six, and they were bringing a bunch of fucking, uh -uh, you know what I mean? So <clears throat> we go to the homies party. The homie's daughter was turning to a thing. They were doing a little party. So we pull up to the Carnasada. And we were outside drinking when we see a couple cars. This fool's hopped out. And one of the young fools started letting us up. Literally, he hopped out. And that fool just started letting it go. Tuck, 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 
tac, tac. Bush or not, he let off like 19 or 18 of them thing. But the thing is, they scree- when they were coming, they kind of burned tires. So that's how we were aware, like, oh, some of this shit. And when he hopped out and yelled at his cell, we're like, oh, shit. So we saw it. We got down. The fool started busting. Then the homies that were inside there were, came down when this fool was spitting off. So we're like, you know what? Fuck this war. But here it goes. Hot Border Brothers got in boy as well. And that same car, the dude that was driving was a Border Brother. So now we figure, okay, fuck it. This was the one. And the jump for the homies over there. Let's get it. So we decide we're, we're going to know what. We're going to go dance like cha-cha. Ba cha 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 La, 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 la. With these fools and go visit these fools and let them be known that 20 don't run for nothing. So plan gets motion. Things happen. Both of them at the same time get pushed on. and escalated. Now, blood's been spilled on both sides. Now, we haven't lost one. They haven't lost one, but blood's have been spilled. So, this is where it gets nasty. We went to San Jose to, back then, it used to be a club called Barcelona. And now it's different, Sunnyvale, somewhere else. It used to be in Sunny, but we would pull up to the club like 20 deep. And we see two homies with big ass BBs on his neck. And the other fool had him here. Senor Stanley Goofy had him here. So as we pull up to the club, the paisa is in a, a, on the door. He happened to be a brother, brother too. So he instantly goes, hey, fool, you fools who might not want to come in here. This this is the town, business place, la, la, la. We're like, we're not giving a fuck, fool. We come in here, dance, fuck, bitches, do what we do. As we walked in there, we seen a good little amount of group, like three tables filled up. Nothing but game bangers. So we pulled up, we got our tables, we're chilling, we're doing what we do. As we homies start getting to the dance floor, we start seeing this bumping into each other. So the homie stopped dancing with his hyena because he had to get hyena and told that fool, if you bump into me one more time, G, I'm going to break your drain jaw. Simple as that. I don't want to curse too much. So he's like, if you bump into me one more time, G, I promise you I'm going to break your drain jaw. Do answer well, then get it done, homie. Both are brothers or mines. Once he bang on the homie, breaking. Tick. Promise fulfilled. The homie Droopy from Parview Locals, who, who became a rat later on, Droopy was a big boy. He had them Samoan hands. So when he hit a boy, he literally broke his jaw. Literally from right here. He didn't run here, so he broke his jaw from here to here. Click it again. They see that, they all get up with bottles in their hands and they rush us. A couple of homies got hit with the bottles, we start getting off. Now we know this is war, this is over with. So, mind you, we thought we were going out of way as a cell. We never knew that Border Brothers were backing this food that were in line, that were backing us up, that wanted to get their mess presence out of war clean. So, it went back and forward. It went back and forward for a couple months. We thought it was going to be, you know, I'm not saying they're soft or nothing, but we thought it was going to be, we lit them up a couple times, this fool's get, and it's over with. Nah, pimping. Town business is town business. And I'm going to give my hat, I'm going to give my dudes when people deserve them dudes. Them dudes were not playing, cuz. They were not playing, homies, straight up. Them fools were not playing. You guys might own misunderstand, my mistake, or misunderstood the Water Brothers. A lot of them dudes are project babies. They grew up here. They're from Mexican family, but they're brother brothers. Like at least that generation I met, a lot of them fools sag. A lot of them fools talk like a straight Morenos. A lot of them fools got the bass swag. A lot of them fools are youngsters. They have the little bass style. There's no now. There's from our generation. What's up, my Nick? What's up, bro? Woo-woo? You know what I'm saying, right? So, and some of them fools were hitters. I can't take nothing away from bros. Some of them dudes were with the business, town business. Some of them fools were with the business. But they went and crashed with another people they have and were with the business as well. So, it went back and forward. That's when we made it. We stamped it. We're like, we go, we going to war with both of these fools. After this transaction, we thought it was just a coincidence. This fool probably asked them for bottles. No. It was, they declared war on us, but we were trying to leave the border brothers alone. 
But since that incident happened in the club, we're like, you know what? War to these fools, let's get. So we started giving it to them. And I get, I tell you this, them fools had, I tip my hat to them. Them fools out there were was to come down to Frisco and let, light us up. They came down to Frisco and lit us up twice. For us, we would go over there and it was not as bad because we had homies there. But for them to literally just come and slide on us and then jump back on the freeway and get back to all, to the town, that was a little different. It was a little bit more, you know, with the business. For us, we would go there, post up at the home, and we slide, we come back to the home, and then it's cool. We didn't have to do those slide, jump back on the freeway and get up out of here type of thing. So we started going at it with them dudes. It literally did. It broke off. It kicked off. We went at it with them fools, but I want to say probably like, Two months and some change until two cooler heads prevail. When my homeboy Kosi got busted and my homeboy P, they landed there with a couple paisas that were prison brother brothers. They were prison brother brothers. And they were cooler heads. One of them was from Juarez, the other one's from Sinaloa. I won't say the names due to respect. I don't know if it's still active or not. But I'm just going to call them for their city names. Juarez and Sinaloa. They were neighbors in the hole. They had, went, they had kicked off a riot on the dorm they were at with the homeboys. Because they kicked off on one dorm, but it didn't have effect on the other dorm. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me. Probably because they had the cooler hair brother brothers there. But they had a lot of youngster brother brothers in there too. Well, they were in the hole. There were the two border brothers were sellies, and my two of my homeboys were selling, and they were neighbors. So, as one time they came out to take a shower, they asked the border brothers if they needed some hot water. They agreed. They they moved the hot water thing to the side so they can see they weren't putting nothing in. They dumped the hot water on some respectful shit, right? That's how the hole actually works. When you're in the hole, it doesn't matter if you're a norteño, a sureño, a border brother, a Homie, white, black, if you are on a tier and somebody hit you up, hey, homie, check it out. Can you do me a bottle? Can you drop this guy? Can you drop this soup? Nine times out of ten, you're going to do the run for that person because they're just common respect. It's done in prison. It's done in a hole. It's done in, in any in a shoe. It also is done in the main line. Like, it's not, you're doing a favor. You know, Let's say I'm sweeping the tier and I'm going to hey, you check it out. You don't mind doing me. So I've been calling my people for whatever. Ooh, I got something going that way. You going that way. You don't mind helping. Yeah, for sure. Slide it down. Beep, beep, boop. Transaction done. We can assist just as much as they can assist us. We cannot get nothing from them. Open, of course, of any other race, as you guys are aware. You guys heard this before. But that's how politics are. But we have that respect for each other. So they sit and they start talking. They used to play chess against each other on the event. So Juarez tell the homie P, he goes, hey, G, check it out. I heard my little home, the little homies out there acting crazy. I know you coming from the street. How true is that? My homie like, yeah, fool, we going out with your little homies behind another barrio. He goes, oh, the hunters do? No, nah, fool, we got off in a different barrio. One of you guys happened to be there, which didn't have nothing to do with us, but shit took off, and then we started sliding on each other. So Juarez goes, Look, it's not too late to try to see if we can figure it out and fix this. The homeboy's like, nah, my homeboy's ain't trying to hear it, bro. La, la, la. So, Chinola from Sinaloa goes, G, check it out, homie. I'm telling you because nobody has been killed yet. Yeah, there's been blood spilled both sides of the thing. But nobody has passed away due to those consequences. You know, which is a good argument. So my homeboy's like, I understand where you're coming from, G, but the decision, I just cannot make it. And I mean, I'm here, but on the streets, it's a whole different bogey. I can't take all the homies be like, you know, he's like, yeah, but can we at least sit down and talk about it? So they discussed it for like a week to try to figure out where to approach it. A good fate. The Rucos, the older dudes, the Paisas, they were like, we're going to send a guy out to the dorms to stop it. Can you guys do the same? And we go from there. So a white boy was getting kicked out to the back to the buildings, and they there sometimes. So they ride their kites. 
they both show it to each other, let them know that that's what was being said. It was being called for peace. It wasn't being called for nothing else. And then said the guys. Well, at first, nobody wanted them to do with that issue. Nobody wanted to touch it. Nobody wanted to come near it because it was like a atomic bomb. But, like I say, sometimes cooler headers prevail. Sometimes people want to visit. Sometimes people want them with the guy coming instead of being slammed in the hole. Sometimes little things matter to people, especially when you're incarcerated. Little things matter. Seeing your kids, seeing your wife, having a visit, la, 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 having a phone call. It matters, you know? And sometimes when it's a... When it's a war break off on some kind of stupidish, you know, so we make peace with SSL. They agreed to, and plus a call had already been placed back to us, the saying, "No homies can be fighting in Northern California. This double S against double S had it to stop, and it was coming from the Bay, so we didn't have nothing but a choice to follow those rules." Because we were in, first of all, we were in the county, we were in the umbrella again. So then the county, that's when the peace got made between the homies and SSL. Both the brothers, they were like, Charles, we're not doing it. But you got to remember, there's still places that I don't know the car. <clears throat> so the homies start programming with SSL. Both the brothers are still getting off of homies. Homies are still getting off of both the brothers in court. And whenever they had a chance of medical, whatever, right? Until what is it kicked out back to the dorm? And Pelon get kicked out across from Juarez, where they can see and signal each other, you know? If you've been a Santa Rita, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you can signal from door to door to people because you can see by the little windows. So, <clears throat> Juarez gets there and tells the border brothers, I see, I stole what this is going to end now. Peace, if now when you guys hit where you guys are going, you guys are going to get DMG. And... I guess they knew what kind of juice he had in the prison system and who he was because they kind of like lay back and listen to him a little bit. They kind of lay back and listen to him a little bit. So he decides to make peace in that dorm with a brother, but he tells them, hey, fool, it's peace here. The homies start trying to talk to the homeboys. They agree to make peace anyway. So peace get rich in the county, but it doesn't reach the streets until like a week later. During that time, it almost that piece almost went sideways because they came to Racapulco. Some paisa, some border brothers came to Racapulco here in uh, Frisco. There's a club called Racapulco, and as they were there, they were drinking. The homies were having fun. Brother brothers and some other people pulled in. They were with some homies from 19, but homies from 19 already knew the deal between us. So they were staying out of it, but also they were their guesses. So it was an awkward position to be in because if we got off on them, well now we're going to have a problem again with 19th Street. So when the homies from 19th Street pull up, Fetty and them fools, all the older fools, Cavallo, who became a rat now for 19th Street, goes, hey, G, check it out. Um, these fools are with me. <clears throat> So, respect that G, we're going to be here, so make sure you guys, homeboys, know. My homeboy said, he goes, man, we ain't, we ain't worried about the fools and fools like paisa. He says that brother brothers get pissed, and they're like, hey, G, we, we ain't fucking paisa, la, la, yeah, we paisa, but we were the business fool, la, la, la. Words get exchanged, it doesn't go nowhere, the homies jump in, and they split them up. Now, that's already said. Was Bierski coming in, get drunk, here was the guy, ugly. One of the homies was dancing with a hyena. They happened to be either the hyena or family of the border brother that was there. We didn't know. The homie didn't know. But he was dancing. He was, you know, doing the quebradita, touching touching a little bit of culito, kissing on her, macking on her. And she was letting him. She was giving the homie play. So he was like, eh, I don't care who you're related to. I'm finna eh, eh, tonight. So... Border brother couldn't stand the gets up and goes out right up to my homeboy and just binging him, bangs on him, break his nose. And I'm not going to tell you we won every fight because that would be me lying to you guys. And I don't lie. The border brother broke the homie's nose. As simple as that. He broke his nose. Homeboy Jay gets up with a knock up of homeboys. They rush him. They literally flipped off one through over the bar. They're flipping through all the, oh, the bar. The homies get up and start breaking fucking bottles over each other's head. La, la, la. Things escalate pretty quick. They get kicked out. 
while they're in the parking lot, things get crazy. So when people pull out fierros, they start trying to go out and stab each other, whatever, whatnot. So a few days later, we get the call that the homie said, like, hey, fool, you're still no more war, la, la, la. But that was still a fresh issue. So homie like, nah, fool, this fool slimy, la, la, la. We know. So now we literally just beef with Border Brothers. And like I say, there ain't no suckers. Ain't no suckers. Them fools were with the business. This is how the agreement gets rich for us to call peace. It was a quinceanera party that we got invited to and they got invited to at the same time. One of the homies' daughters for 19. Basically, it was pretty cool with some homies. Mind you, 19 and 20 Street never been that close or never been that cool, but sort of homies have. Either because we're Salvadorians or we have something in common, but then we never been close. You guys got to remember, I will tell you guys the story about that. In 96, we went, we kicked off a war with 19th Street that lasted for a couple years. They lost homeboys. We didn't. And I'm not saying this is a bragging right or trying to minimize it. There's a lot of homies from 19, the straight hitters, the straight killers. But at that moment, at that place, we didn't lose not one of them. They lost a few of them. So... With that being said, if you guys want to hear about the war between us and 19, believe me, even though it happened before my time, I know the whole details, the backgrounds and everything. I saw the case, that it took place, I saw everything. So hit me, leave it in the comments if you guys want me to talk about it. And I was trying to find the paper, put it up to you guys and go from there. But when we were in Aquince, the lady, the boys together was a lady. It was the grandma of the little girl that was having kids. So she, when we got there, they got there afterwards. She grabbed the mic and goes, If any of you fuckers rings my granddaughter's quinceañera, you guys going to have a wrecking to deal with because you guys going to be dealing with more. We thought she was playing, bro. We didn't take it that serious. She was a little tipsy already, but, bro, was she that serious? Ooh, brother, brother. Let me tell you, she was serious. That lady said, if any of you guys fight here, I'm going to bring any little pan, casserola, chanclas, or whatever I can find in the house and hit you guys with it. I'm bullshit you not. Their son, which happened to be a homie that we know from SL, Sur Locote, which is a new neighbor from Oakland at the time that was coming up, goes, bro, my abuelita's not playing, bro. Believe me, she got she kept a 12th gate. Behind the door, if you guys start tripping, for she's gonna start letting her off. We took it as lying, whatever. It's a joke. No, G, she, she wasn't lying, bro. <laughs> and we start dancing, we start doing that. Somebody bump into somebody, and here we go again. Two homies start fighting. Talk like the brother, brother with a homie start chunking it. One on one. They called each other one on one. So they get in the middle, they start dancing in the middle. Of the, this lady comes out, breaks a bottle on the floor. But since the music was pretty loud, shit, nobody heard it. She breaks a second bottle of Modelo and goes, Stop, motherfuckers. I told you nothing be fine. Nothing. She goes inside the house, and I'm looking at her. She goes inside the house, bro. She comes with a 12 gauge shotty. I'm thinking that shit's going to drop her dumb ass. No, G. She grabs that thing, put up in there, and book it to him. And everybody stopped on their feet. Everybody stopped. We're like, what the hell just happened? So she's like, I told you, motherfuckers, you motherfuckers want to fight, fight outside or somewhere else. You guys ain't fighting. The next one's going to go to one somebody's ass. I'm not playing. I'm going to bust a cap in your ass. I'm like, freaking shit. Where this old grandma guerrillera came from? She wasn't playing. So behind that incident, afterwards, homies came to agreement. We talked. We they talk and then we decided to you know where I stood because I know the phone call I know the letter had came from upstate saying hey you guys knocked that shit off their brother brothers we are lying here with them like Charles that's not go the program don't want it you guys are looking bad knock it off so we put a stop to it because I also require us but I tell you guys the story not because to glorify the violence that we went through. But sometimes we don't know where the peace is going to come from. That lady wants something just nice for his granddaughter. And we kind of messed it up. And she let us know, you guys ain't having it here. And the pedal wasn't really with Border Brother. But it goes to say, you guys can minimize nobody. 
I hear all their paisas. And fools and with the business. Believe me, I seen, I've been on a ride with paisas. Fools are with the business, bro. Do not minimize nobody. I'm not glorifying violence. Kids, stay away from gangs. When I jump into game, don't do this. And especially don't drink and have a weapon on yourself. But it goes to show that sometimes when people minimize a certain group, they think they're soft or whatever. They're really not, bro. We kind of underestimate them because we were like, oh, they're a bunch of paisitas fools. We kind of under, un, underestimate them, which could have cost us dearly because we couldn't have lost a homeboy or two. But we... It, it didn't happen, which was better because if not, our world would have kept going, kept going. You guys know that when somebody passed, it's ugly. It was blood and blood, but it was not that bad. So that's my version when that happened because I was there. I took part, take in some of the incidents. I was there. I saw it all. So John Deasons broke it down a little bit too. I'll be breaking a little bit more of this. Frisco, the Zitty business. If you guys want to know about the MS between 19 and 16 war, hit me up. Let me know. I got the factual facts, man. I'll be dropping this video today. Hopefully, you guys like it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you have it. Don't forget to share with your family and friends, with your abuelita, your tios, and your tias. Share with everybody, man. Let's get this channel going again. We're going to be back in deck doing the lives almost every day and we're gonna be posting every day hopefully we can get all the channel going stay tuned for my merch you guys already know what we do today i'm gonna film the full video so i can i have everything ready so we can i can put it up with that being said man like i always tell you guys be kind to one another tell your loved ones that you love them because tomorrow is never a promise let's get it